Assalamualaikum and hi. This topic is on Art Nouveau. So Art Nouveau is a artistic movement and it started in the 18th and the 19th century. It is a style, a fancy art style to decorate things and it became very popular in the 18th until the 19th century. It was like a big party where the artist was playing with colors, making everything look shiny and being extra fancy with decoration is exaggerating making things from simple into something really really intricate and detailed if you look at the image here you can simply create or draw a woman but instead of drawing just a simple woman art nouveau style is adding elements, lines, and colors, and you know, all those simple and curvy effects to make the image more happening, more exciting. Okay, and so uh, instead of the old fashioned way of making things simple and they, they say boring, uh, the art Art Nouveau movement is to enhance the beauty of things and the architects or the designers back then wanted to create something different from the normal approach and so the ideas came from nature most of the elements that you see in the Art Nouveau movement is from nature the flowiness of plants or the colors, the bursting colorful colors from animals or from found a uh, floral and the Japanese also were influence, influencer in uh, the art novel and you can see the movements not just in products also in arts in architecture and crafty projects everything was implemented with Art Nouveau okay so among the key characteristic of Art Nouveau is organic forms so when I say organic form is something that is not very rigid you know like straight and very hard edges no is totally different the line is wavy the line is more smoother rounder curvier um, all of the design that you see in the images here is from the organic forms and it is inspired from nature such as flowers and the curviness of the plants and in, in terms of the flowing lines the movement is known for its curve creating a sense of movement so if you look at the images here you see it's something like there's movement even though it's static but the images are there showing depth and many things are happening inside the images so this is the thing about Art Nouveau is making things more fun in a cool way and a nature was a big inspiration everywhere that I have Art Nouveau in the design is a design that is full of colors full of lines curves and full of excitement so the evolution of Art Nouveau, there's the early phase, international style and the late phase. And it's all artsy party where designers who make pictures with fancy lines and it's like making artwork from a dream. It's to add different 
you know, dreamlike things in your artwork. So um, when you talk about Art Nouveau, is something to enhance, something to beautify, something to make people wonder when they look at the movement or the artwork they see a lot of richness in the design the richness could come from colors could come from the forms or uh, the abstract approach but if you look at it as a whole it's going to be something bursting with flavors the flavors i'm talking about here is colors strokes lines and everything is exaggerated in bahasa we call it melebih lebihkan so it's not something static it's something that you want to add more instead of drawing just an apple you would add an apple with the leaves and the flowers and the grass at the bottom you see you add more of mm, elements in your design and Art Nouveau is all about fun it's making a world to be beautiful it's about adding extra flavors to to the surrounding so if you look here on the right bottom here is a building in overseas and the elements that's added in the building you know the flowy lines the colors are uh, representing the art nouveau movement um, just remember art nouveau is about arts that is over the top it's not something simple like apple it's something more flavorful and it will make people stop to look at the, all the small detailings on the object or the product that is representing Art Nouveau. Okay, in terms of color, Art Nouveau was not just about shapes. It also have a distinct color in the Art Nouveau movement. And the colors used are usually colors that is exploding with with rays of like rainbows brightness it is not something that is dull okay so uh, art nouveau artists love vibrant colors like rich deep greens or deep blue or bold red something that will grab the audience's attention so when you see an image that is very bold very colorful you will think about Art Nouveau because Art Nouveau is about colorful full of flavors colors and excitement and you will not see black or white in Art Nouveau okay um, another thing about colors for Art Nouveau is uh, the movements like to use something that is shiny so like the color of diamonds or the shininess of a vase any product product that is out there um, that's using the Art Nouveau movement they must have shines to them and to round everything up Art Nouveau colors is about making images pop so the colors used must be something that is you know grabbing your attention it's not something laid down it's something that oh wow red or oh, striking blue or deep green something that will grab your attention okay in terms of product um the fancy furnitures or the if you look at the middle picture the wood carving is over the top there's a lot of intricate small detailings in the wood carving and the, the statue or the vase they have a lot of wavy lines and 
you know, small, minute details representing the era. So if you look the at the middle picture, it's not about playing with colors, but the elements of lines, the flowiness, the the carvings, the the form is representing Art Nouveau. And if you look at the right image here, if I'm not mistaken, is the image of and as you can see the products use all the wavy lines, the elements that's mentioned before. So just imagine you're sitting on a chair with curvy lines. Okay, you're sitting on a chair with curvy lines that look like something out of nature. Okay, and or you're wearing a necklace. You're wearing a necklace that that's very shiny and with all those little and detailed carving so that is art nouveau movement for you and it's about creating natural shapes out of flowers or animals into the creation and and most of the of the times the colors used are bright to make it more exciting and more fun and more livelier just remember art nouveau is about making things more over the top it's not something simple it's something that you if you are a simple person would not like to have it okay the next one is okay look at the image here the vase on the left side is shiny and the form is flowy it doesn't have sharp edges it's something that's very soft and shiny and the colors used are popping to make it to make it to grab your attention and the, the chair on the right here is a is influenced by art nouveau because of the detailings it has on the chair so um, basically you can just create a, sh a chair that is plain but with art nouveau it must be over the top the design must be very detailed and very very flowy with organic forms and shapes in terms of the film design if you look at the posters back then uh, they pretty much use art nouveau elements in the poster for example if you look at the image on the left the borders here is using flowy and organic lines and the colors as i mentioned something that's popping orange that's grabbing your attention and in the film scene you can see that the props used in the film is in the art nouveau era uh, they turned Art Nouveau for inspiration mm -hmm. with all those flowy lines, intricate details, just like the artwork at that time. It loves to bring nature and uses bright, vibrant color to the world of film design, and it made everything look dreamy, uh, something out of not the ordinary something coming from the dream and in a way it's like a fairy tale okay so imagine you're walking down the street and you suddenly came across this building so this is Casa Batilo and it's in Barcelona so the artist created this building which was inspired from the Art Nouveau movement. 
So the artist name was Anthony Gordy and his architecture building is very very over the top. It's not something simple. He uses many elements that is incorporated from the Art Nouveau movement. And if you look at the Paris metro station, the train station um, was also influenced by the Art Nouveau architecture, the, the curviness of the train station and the ornate, the lightings were taken from Art Nouveau movements. So back in the 18th and the 19th century, the artists were mostly inspired by the beauty and nature of the cool design from the Art Nouveau movement. Okay, um, if you look on the images here, they can simply draw a tiger or a lion or a sheep, but with Art Nouveau, it must be over the top. The flowiness of the lion's hair, the pack design at the back with floral motif and all those curvy lines, everything must be over the top. So if you like something fancy, something that is over the top, you go for Art Nouveau. Okay, here's another examples of Art Nouveau buildings in architecture. Uh, the Hotel Tassel, Victoria and Albert Museum, the Great Gatsby, all of these were influenced by the Art Nouveau movement. And usually in the filmmaking, they would go to these places to do the recording as um, the props there shows of you know exclusiveness making the entire filming look rich and flavorful so uh, in product design you see the the table itself has has this curvy ish legs and the chair was in intricately designed with all those I think from floral and you know organic shape the lamp itself have many different colors on the the shades and this is something that you would look into and it's not something that you if you walk by the product you would just look have a glance one glance it's not something like that is something that you will go close and have a really good look at the product because it's not something familiar it's something different and it's made that way to grab the audience attention okay so the this movement this art movement can be seen in many different areas uh, in textile patterns uh, if you look at the pattern here, the colors used were something to grab your attention. Again, red, green, orange, and the flowiness of the design. Okay, and if you look the ornaments on the vase, the lamp is over the top. And if you were to have it in Malaysia today, uh, the I would imagine how many times you need to wipe all of the dust and basically if you wanted to have this Art Nouveau product you must be very clean person as you need to wipe all those you know the curves and edges it takes time okay another example of Art Nouveau okay among the character characteristic of Art Nouveau is flowy lines and curves uh, where they incorporate lines into the textile pattern to create a sense of movement and dynamism. As I mentioned, it's to create this, you know, stunning motif from plants. And the work of art is bringing joy and beauty to 
the product or the surface pattern that is created okay another example um, as I mentioned they've used for fauna and floral motif so this is animal and this is from plants and they stylize it into a form that is very very heavy for the eyes but nice to see okay if you look at the door here the colors the shininess the flowy lines all of this resembles Art Nouveau okay um you're going to have to create an assignment after this uh, where there's going to be something related to fonts so art nouveau fonts it must be flowy it must be something curvy and the example here doesn't really use much color but from learning from the previous slides you should know that the colors for art nouveau is something very rich and very happening it, it needs to be something that's grabbing your attention okay and so the background of the anything that you do that you do with art nouveau is something is very tiny and very detailed it, it needs to be detailed very flowy very curvy so that when people look at your work, they say, oh, this is very rich. This is definitely Art Nouveau. Okay. So in music, usually Art Nouveau uh, was used, were used on the front cover of the music. It's either, you know, back then it was the black tape. Okay. So as you can see, the, the women displayed on the right side here was filled with floral motifs and you know the the letterings were curvy also so and the letterings on the left side is showing what art nouveau movement is like okay so um this is pretty much the topic on art nouveau and to conclude everything Art Nouveau is an art movement that is very rich in in terms of its pattern, its colors, its shininess. It's very heavy for the eyes but something very nice to see. And in today's world, there are certain designers who likes to follow this movement. So basically, the Art Nouveau movement is not just used in the past it's it is still relevant today as art is about cycle and it sometimes it goes down sometimes it goes up sometimes people like simple minimalistic but there are times minimalistic is too boring too plain so you would want something exaggerating exaggerating meaning here is something that is over the top it's not for everybody but it is there to make the environment more happening and more exciting as what art is we artists or designers or you know heritage movers are here to make the world more interesting and more beautiful so the we need to appreciate all the little things in art, in our environment, so that we can enjoy life better. Okay, thank you. That's all for today and good luck for everything that you do.